Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we have a whole new toy line to look at, Flush Force, and it comes to us from Spin Master. So Flush Force is a collectible mini action figure line. Now before we go any further, I want to make sure that there's no confusion of this series with another series that's on the shelf right now who also has its characters in toilets, much the same size as this one, and that series is Poopsies. Um, now, the main difference is Poopsie seems to be focused around uh, cartoon versions of poops and, I guess, different types of poops and toilet paper and things like that, as where Flush Force here seems to be more focused on the critters that you might find in and around in the sewers. And so, yeah, there's, like, sharks and alligators and different bugs. and Anyway, so also um, the mechanic that the or the gimmick that the toilet serves is a little bit different between the two series. I prefer this one. But anyways, we're back on this flush force and uh, so we'll go let's go ahead and look at what we have out here in front. I have three different um, items in the line that you could buy. There is a fourth which is just a bigger version of this toilet here and it has a little handle and you pull it and makes like uh, flushing noises and all other sounds that you might think might come from a toilet and um, yeah but these are the um, I guess you could say the three mains that most people will buy when they get introduced to the series so on the right there we have just the basic toilet it doesn't come in any box and um, yes in here you get two characters okay the next one is this, which has a similar toilet. It's actually the exact same size, um, and but here you get five characters, so three more. And there's one you can see, and then you have some mystery ones that you have to um, expose who they are, and how you do that's really cool. We'll get to that in a second. And the bigger kit right here, uh, Bizarre Bathroom, has, as you can see, has two toilets and then some figures. Oh, and this one you get eight figures. I, I always you know, look at the presentation and stuff, and I think they did a super job with this. Um, first of all, their box actually is kind of like a little diorama, um, so I already spoke about how they made it look like a bathroom. They show you an, uh, they show you the, some of the figures, so you kind of can see the quality, not the, the amount of detail each figure has, and that actually was important because those other series I was mentioning, thinking about getting, their figures didn't look as detailed, so good for showing that off. Also, you can see floating above the toilets, you have these little signs telling you what to do, add water, and um, yeah, and then you even have this little graphic here, you know, put water in, so step by step see some of the other figures and here you can see us talking about how we have a uh, alligator and um, yeah insects and all that stuff okay and some pretty other crazy creatures so um, also yeah these I mean pretty much every cre uh, every figure they've shown has been interesting enough that I kind of want it so that's a definite selling point all right um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I we could do an unboxing but what I think we'll do is I'll just use this as the demo since this one's already open and we'll go ahead and see how the whole thing works all right so here we are um, attached to this one you had get this little collector's book so I'll just quickly page through here and see what this has to show us some of the figures you can get some directions Okay, so um, also the lid, um, or the tank lid, is held on by this, uh, looks like a clear shrink wrap. So, let's pick that off. Okay. All right. Oh, there's something in there. Cool. So, um, before you pour any water in there, you probably want to pull this out. Oh, this must be like the character listing here. Let's go ahead and open that and look at that. Uh, Alright, so it looks like uh, tr triple flusher, double flusher, single flusher. Oh, okay, I guess that's their way of saying like rare, common, super rare, etc. And um, there's six special finishes see-through, transparent, color change, 
metallic. Um, you know, what's that one? Flocked, <laughs> floating. Oh, cool and squishy. Oh, okay, cool. So there's uh, not just different characters, but colors, but also the way they. It looks like some extra features. So, and it, okay, here we go. It looks like they've divided the characters into like different little camps. So we have vermin, gruesome twosomes. Those are like double-headed creatures, and uh, scuzzy fuzzies, and then what's this? Grimy grubs. All right, and then more back. Oh, all right. Uh, dump divers, mean munchies, putrid parts, all like body parts and stuff, okay. Uh, mean greens, clean freaks, fall floaters, and street freaks. So, wow, there are quite a bit of characters. And uh, just quick and glancing at them, they all seem to be really well done. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, alright, that's what we have to look forward to as far as who we might get. Now, um, alright, this part here, now there's a plastic over this, obviously, to stop people from just pulling the character out in the store. Also, keeps the bag undamaged so that you get the fun of the reveal without it being spoiled. Um, however, I'm going to assume that, oh, okay, so there's a little tab here in the front. You can see that. So that's how we get the plastic off the... Make sure I get it all the way around here. Okay, so I was able to pull off all the plastic uh, protector. Now, um, if you don't get the whole plastic thing to come off in one piece when you pull that tab, um, you have to get off like three other pieces like I had to do. Uh, make sure you don't puncture the bag with your finger or whatever tool you're using to get off that. Okay, so now we should be ready. This is exposed. Keep the lid on there for the shaking. And then I got the tank there. Then my lid. Can it go on either way? Let's see. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what way you put it on, it still fits on. Okay, and I have my water here and a little uh, bottle that's just ideal for pouring in the small crevices like that. There we go. Um, now, does it tell us how much water to add? <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a measuring. I'm just going to fill up this uh, reservoir in the back. All right, so. Yeah, that should be enough. Um, I didn't fill it up. It seems that all the water's gone down here. I wonder if that's enough or I should put more in. All right, I think that's more than enough. Although it didn't fill up this reserve tank in the back. So I'll close that lid. And I will shake. And open. Oh, okay. I guess more shakings in there. Okay, um, so there we are. Got some green stuff coming out, which seems to be that cover. And here are our characters. Alright, we got this guy here. It's a little line or something. I think this might be a fuzzy one because he feels like he might be fuzzy if he wasn't wet <laughs> and who else oh okay kind of a two-headed character <laughs> all right so all right so let's look at the characters here they do have the little um, hole in the bottom which might suggest that there might be like a playset later where you can you know mount them on little pegs or whatever like more vehicles or maybe I don't know um, and but yeah they do look per they, they're pretty detailed <laughs> and um, let's, oh this guy I just noticed this guy has four hands <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the quote-unquote medium-sized kit here, um, the one that comes with the five figures. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to give the toilet thing another try. I have two things I'm going to do a little different this time. And also I'm curious to see how um, these uh, mystery characters are going to be revealed since they are obviously are in the toilet. So do we put them in there or what? So I thought it was important to go ahead and open up this kit to give you the full um, range of 
how they characters come. So, taking it off the card here. Oh, um, okay. Well, I think I answered one of my questions just right there. Okay, so that question was how do we, how do we find what these guys are? They appear to be just in these little tubes that block your ability to see them from the sides up, down, and of course the back had the card on it. But once you open the box, they just come out. So, um, looks like we have here, oh, okay, some kind of man-eating plant type deal. And uh, by the way, they are um, somewhat um, flexible. Um, of course, maybe the ones that are super squishy, let me check the list here. Um, didn't they have ones that were uh, color change, metallic, yeah, squishy. So, okay, so some of the characters are going to be squishy. I think this one's just normal, but um, even on these, you can move them about a bit, as you see I'm doing here. Okay, all right, so there's our bad flower. Ooh, cool. So here we have, obviously, some kind of spider with all the eyes. And, yeah, and again, um, if you like, I'll just drop them here and you can see. So, yeah, there is a little um, squish to even the normal characters. Or, you get what I'm saying. All right. Okay. Now, the one that was exposed. And, actually, I wanted to show this guy for a reason. Not only do I think he's cool, but... Um, Okay, so if you notice this guy, quite a bit of detail on him, but also notice something. He has feet, so um, unlike some characters here who have just the um, peg, um, put peg here type base, some of the characters actually have feet and actually stand up. Um, also, um, here's a... Uh, okay, here we've already looked at this from the previous toilet. There, but this one had this. Okay, instructions. That was all in the previous one as well. Uh, what else do we have down here in the bottom? Oh, there's a car. In case you have questions, there's a phone number to call. Okay, those are just what was over the what was in the box. Now let's get to the um, toilet. Now we've done one of these already, but this time I'm going to try two things different. Um, first of all. I have, instead of cold water, I have, I would say warm, not hot, but warm water. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to add as much water as I did last time. And uh, hmm, that's a little different than the previous one. This has two question marks as opposed to one big question mark. Although the same amount of characters will be in it too. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're go I'm going to use less water. Did that a lot better too. <laughs> Got the whole thing off in one pool. All right, so I'm going to use less water and see if warm water and those combination of two things makes any difference in how the character is revealed. Maybe it won't be as sloppy, or maybe we'll get a different effect. We'll see. Here we go. Um, so I used like pretty much the whole thing of this last time. So this time I'll use. What do you think? Maybe about that. Yeah, a third. How about that? So. Actually, yeah, I'm going to stop right there. Okay. Lay it on. Shake, 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 shake. All right. And. All right. So, um, even using less water, essentially, we get the same result just without lots of water spilling out. But, yeah, there was no extra effect. Um, so, again, no fizzy, but... Still a pretty cool idea nonetheless, but let's see who we got. All right, so we have some octopus character with, uh, is that a jar? Jelly. Okay, an octopus using a jelly jar as a helmet. <laughs> okay, and the other character is um, another fuzzy. And yes, um, you can immediately tell these guys, even though they're wet, you can tell they have a different texture. And I draw it off the one I got previously, and it is, in fact, a fuzzy. So here's another fuzzy. This guy looks to be, what? And he looks kind of like a rat, but then on the other hand, he looks like some kind of, <laughs> I don't know, gremlin or something. But anyway, um, oh, he is a rat. Tail confirmed. <laughs> he is a rat with a bite missing out of his ear. So, yeah. 
Okay. All right, so I was just going through the characters I got, and I thought I'd point this out. So this is the one guy I could see I was getting, and well, to be honest, that's the reason I picked up this pack, because he's so cool. But these other four were complete blind bags, and um, actually, I'm really happy with each one of them. And I think that's something to note, because that's not always the case, of course. And, well, also looking at these guys, I noticed that um, I, from this kit, at least, and what looks to be the whole series, Flush Force, I noticed a flavor with their characters. It seems to be a little more, now it's not extreme edge, obviously, I mean this guy is still kind of cartoony, but it definitely has a little more serious to uh, touch to it than say something like the Grocery Gang, which is of course a spin-off of the uh, Trash Pack. And you can see here, these guys are a little more cartoony. And um, so yeah, and the reason I think that's also good for Flush Force is it'll allow them to kind of um, coexist with the Trash Pack slash Grocery Gang um, as they go on because as you can see, these are kind of targeting slightly different um, um, recipients. Um, so, or like me who likes both of them, but you get the point. Um, and also Flush Force, I think this is a good time to launch your series because the Trash Pack, they've been around now for since 2010, I believe. And um, yeah, some of them are getting, uh, yeah, they're not as great. I think their current one, by the way, is something like Bug Force um, with the grocery guys fighting the bugs, but their bugs don't look anywhere as good as this guy here or, you know, guy here so yeah um at this point yeah i'm going flush for us um yeah you got to step it up uh grocery gang <laughs>